Let's go, 7 Days to Die, TBF Gaming. We're jumping into a new playthrough today. Our War of the Walker series has come to an end. It's time to move on to a new mod. As we're patiently and excitedly waiting for Alpha 20, we're going to jump into a few of these side mods and kind of see what these other ones have to offer. This one is called Apocalypse Now. It's not something I've seen. I haven't really looked around to see there's some more playthroughs for it. So I'm jumping into this pretty blind. The splash screen looks amazing, so that already gives me some high hopes. This adds a whole bunch of cool stuff. I'll put it all in the description down below if you kind of want to check it out. But it makes it a little more difficult. It makes it uh, just adds a few things within the game between weapons and tiers and all kinds of stuff like that it also adds a cool the modlets a lot of cool modlets that we like to check out like b-dubs vehicles uh some kill tracking lockable slots uh the smx hud which we love whole bunch of stuff like that kind of changes horde knights and screamers stuff like that it's gonna be a lot of fun to check out let's go ahead and go new game we're gonna go to the chicago try we did a king gen generated map of the chicago region kind of an 8k map looks really cool we're gonna name this one what what are we playing? We're playing APOC now. There we go. Everything's good there. Everything's good there. We're going to go 100% default minus XP 150% and airdrops on. Everything else will be exactly default. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Might take a minute to generate the map. Make sure we allow access through Windows Defender. Good job. Keep my computer safe. So here we go. Let's get into it. Apocalypse Now. Here we go. Load it up. Let's see. Apocalypse Now mod version 2.5. Basic survival has been shortened to crafting your bedroll and placing it down. Once it's done, you'll be directed to the nearest trader. Let's do it. All right. Opening the starter kits will reward you with some basic starting out supplies. Very cool. So let's go ahead and check this stuff out. We got to do the plant fibers. Let's do that first. And then we'll check out these little things at the bottom in our hot bar. All right, let's go with a bedroll. Craft it. All right, we got the SMX mod, so everything looks clean and awesome up here. Let's go ahead and check these out. Shotgun Messiah. Open. We got ourselves a nice little collection of weapons. It kind of scares me that you're getting this much in the beginning. This might mean that this is going to be really scary. Popping pills. We get a bandage. Nice. We'll get all this out of our hot bear here in a second. A cast. That's not good. Some food. And working stiff tools. Bam. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and get this all sorted out. I'm going to go ahead and get this and this down here. We're going to go with a spear, a club, and that. That one. We usually put our shovel on six. And we're going to put frames down because we might need to jump on them kind of quickly. I think that's everything. All right. Let's make sure we're reloaded. Now, this map should be really, really cool. It is a huge city area. I'll make sure I show you guys a quick picture of that. And it does have all the compo pack stuff, so I'm really hoping there's going to be some cool-looking POIs that we haven't really ventured into just yet. Uh, let's go ahead and sort everything, and let's get rolling here. Let's go ahead and put the bedroll down, and then figure out where the trader's at. Bam. All right, trader is... Let's see. Appear to be capable. Yep, yep. Looks like Trader is that way, about 1.2 kilometers. Oh, nice. It actually shows you on the screen where it's at. Very nice. Completely unsure what's up with this mod, but the fact that we have all these cool weapons and stuff on day one definitely makes me a little nervous. Nice. It's got the thing where you can E everything instead of hitting it, so you can just pick up plants and stuff like that. Very, very good. Let's go ahead and get some iron right away. Always good to get a little bit of starter stuff going. Looks like there's a fire station right there. Try and see what else is in the area. I don't really know how leveling or anything like that works in this. With 150% first aid, hopefully we don't advance too quickly to where our game stage outpaces how good we are. <laughs> That's always a, a little bit of a worry early on in 7 Days to Die. There we go. We'll finish at least one node just to get that little bit of bonus XP. Bam. Nice. Yeah, there's definitely more down below. Uh, oh. Oh, that'd be amazing to get some early on meat. I'm not much of a shot. We'll see how this works. And I don't know what kind of build we're going to do for this one. We're just jumping into this one very haphazardly. Just kind of jump in, figure out what we're going to do next. I don't really know yet. Oh, no. We missed that one completely. Come on. Got him. Oh, wow. We took him out one shot. Very, very nice. Let's go ahead and use this knife. Very cool. Get a little bit of early game meat. That's great. Now, the way we typically do this, it's pretty much one day per video. So each day will be a a one video. Oh, we messed that up. Hold on. Try this again. Each day will be one video. So every, every video will go through about one day. Now, if something happens to where it gets a little bit off from that, that's fine too. We just kind of number them out. It doesn't really matter in terms of progress. We'll just kind of see how it goes. We'll figure it out as we go. That gas station is always a nice place to check out. 
I am doing a little bit of sprinting, which is probably a bad di- bad idea early on. We're really struggling with words today. Hopefully this gets a little better as we get rolling through here. We've got this gas station. Always a cool early game POI. Hold on. I really want this guy. Where is he? Oh, no. Like, yeah, there we go. Nice, man. Get us a bunch of early game meat. This is perfect. Very, very good. And we'll get to the trader before we check out. Oh, wow. There's our first zombie. It's a military guy. So our first zombie is a military guy. Awesome. Please don't be a runner. There we go. Weak fallen soldier. Come on. Nice. Good job. All right. I hear another one. What do we got? Putrid girl. Okay. Very nice. I have not used a spear in a long time. Maybe we'll go with some kind of spear build. I know when it first came out, we played with it quite a bit because I really enjoyed the reach of it. We'll have to see, though. We'll get to the trader, and then we'll kind of figure out everything after that. Look at that POI. That looks really cool. I can't even imagine what's all in this town. Popping pills would be nice early on. Maybe we'll go in there. I don't know. We got into some decisions to make, but it's going to be a lot of fun just being in this giant city. But basically the way it should work is this whole area should be just lots and lots of cities. There's not too much water on the map. Should be a lot of fun. Military post. A couple large buildings that way. Lots of large areas. Lots of lag. Okay. Can you stick your head through? Okay, let's see if we can help him out here. There you go. Hit him in the head a little bit when he pokes through. There you go. Some nice free shots. Somebody coming. A little bit. Okay. Yep, I see that guy. All right, wait for him to stand up. Definitely get a little bit of XP early on. Get some kills. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What is that? Oh, he jumped the thing. What is that guy? He's like a ghost. Okay. We really need to stop this before they break that. A weak zombie Casper. Oh, that's cool looking. Look at this guy. Perfect. Very nice. Oh, how does the big lady sneak up on you? We're the worst survivor ever. Oh, I like that we have some really good quality stuff to start with. Perfect. I really want to go in there, but I have a bad feeling about that place. Oh, it's a metro. Hmm. Oh, you know that place is going to be absolutely insane. I kind of want to search it a little bit. We're a little afraid, though. This place is so cool looking. All right, we're going to keep moving. Let's get to the trader. Let's stay focused. And then we'll kind of work from there. We can stay in the trader, from what I understand, right? Oh, right click is not a throw. I did not expect that. Okay, let's see if we can get ourselves the chicken. Okay, aim high. Oh, we missed. Got him. There we go. All right. Carve this guy up. Give me a little bit of feather action, a little bit more meat. Very good, very good. All right. We've seen that one before. That's the mine place. Another soldier over there. There you go. All the way half halfway to level two already. Hopefully we'll get a couple skill points when we get over here. The warehouse. I know that one has some good good stuff inside there. There's some of uh, the big lumberjacks, though. Definitely not what we want to start with. Another cargo center on this side. Those are usually really good early game POIs. What is that? Um, my oh, Widowmakers, Widowmakers, gotcha. Okay, let's go take this guy out and maybe go for that deer if he doesn't move too far. Okay, I hear another one. Okay, hit him in the head. I'm trying to get some headshots. Not we're not working so far. All right, I don't think that deer is gonna happen now. So it looks like there's different types of each zombie. 
So I've seen a weak and then a regular. So I think each one has a little bit different health, it looks like. Interesting. I'm always excited to get into a new mod. We're going to this so blind, it's, it's really cool because we just don't really know what to expect. And I already love early game, seven days to die anyway. Is this an openable one? Let's see. Ooh, it is. <laughs> I'm not going in there. It's a trap for sure. That's awesome. I really like that some of the POIs have that. That's very cool. Uh, I don't think we're going to try to get the boar. Hopefully he's not aggressive. 250 health is just too much. Oh, let's take advantage of this real quick. What is this? This is... Oh. I saw something over there. Okay, a little bit of was that nitrate, right? And then over here we have a little bit of lead. I'm going to mark these just because that's some really nice little lead and nitrate. Let's go like this, like that. So lead slash nitrate. Just so we can come back here if we have to. That'd be a really nice one to go to. And I, I like the fact there's a little bit of aloe. Another warehouse. All right, we'll get rid of the cowboy. Yeah, see, he's a weak, so he only has 75 health. Oh, here we go. Oh, come on, that should have been a hit. Got him. There is, there's a silo right in the middle of the city. Excellent. Zombie biker, 280 health. This is going to take a minute. There you go. Hit him in the head. Hit in the head. All right. He's not charging. I don't know if the... If the oh, nice. I don't know if the charge is actually a thing in this mod. Oh, what is that? A generic rifle barrel. Oh, we need to put these clothes on. Generic pants. T-shirt. Plant fiber hood. Bandana. And shoes. I don't know why we didn't put that stuff on. We got it on now. Oh, we almost didn't get this guy. And we got the desert, so we're a little bit of desert right here. So we're going to creep through there and get a little bit more of the aloe if there's some more. Keep an eye around. Always worried about early game something rushing us. There we go. A couple more hits. Perfect. Is that a dog? That is a dog. Why? Yeah, zombie dog, 150 health. Oh, God. Got him. Oh, wait, actually took him out. Wow. I'm as surprised as you are. We got the blender brush ready just in case. <laughs> there we go, man. Nice, we took a dog out day one. Unstoppable. We're going to probably drop a bed here in a minute. I'm getting a little nervous. And then we'll leave it down. That way at least we're not too far from our end goal. 400 meters already. Alright. One more shot on this guy. Alright. Let's get some of this stuff as we walk through. And we're going to put this bed down soon also. Grab as much as we can. Oh, hold on. Need you. Oh, my bad. We were not quick enough. Okay. Get all that. Ooh. All right. Big Mama's coming. Hungry Zombie. 300 health. There we go. I remember how afraid of her we used to be. Perfect. One more shot. There we go. Looking good. Get some rocks. We really need, I need to see what else we need to craft some more arrows. Make sure we don't run out of arrows. Oh, don't tell me that's not a, zomb or a zombie vulture. Oh, careful. Get it. Nice. Good job, man. Good start. Good start. All right. Let's get a few of these little quick trees. Definitely some cactus. Perfect. Please don't come down and get me. What is this? This is our 
That's our oil shell. Nice. All right, I'm going to do the same thing here. We're going to mark this one too. Save oil. All right, I just want to make sure that we have these marked so we can come back to them if we need to. There's definitely a lot of the creatures on this already. All right, pick up a few more. We can always come back out here. Come on. There's a doe, a deer. Oh, he's running. All right, there's that guy. Perfect. Get my arrow back. Let me see what I need for more arrows. Stone arrows. So it's just in this one, it's feather, wood, and small stone. Easy. Hold on. What do I need to repair this first? Repair that. And then, then we'll do the arrows. Good stuff. All right. Let's get back on the road. That's a cool barn looking POI. Hopefully the trader will have a nice POI next to it that we can take over. And find something to make our home for these couple early first days. What does that say? Where, warehouse. Where's the house? All right, 200 meters. Very nice. That'd be excellent if we could find the castle. Because imagine if we found the castle this early. I would definitely be pretty stoked. Let's keep going. Oh, hold on. It's a buck. A stag, sorry. Stag. Oh, how did I miss that? Oh, God. He's a... Oh, we messed that up. All right. All right. We got 200 meters. Let's just get in the trader. We'll do the trader, and then we'll get... We'll move. Oh, no, 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 no. Mutated wolf. <laughs> what? How do you show me that day one? Oh, he's still cool. He's chilling again. Got him. Oh, he didn't die. I thought that was it. He's got one health. Let's let him chill for a minute. We'll see if he stops running. We'll, we'll hit him one more time. Oh, we got the prison. Oh, he went into the grain place. Okay, if he's going to... Is he going to get stuck? No, he made it out the side. Did he? Oh, there he was. Okay, let's let's get in the trader. We'll stay focused. We'll get in here, get a little bit of safety, and then we can look through the different menus and kind of see how the leveling and stuff looks in this mod and figure out what our first couple of steps are going to be. Ooh, look at this. Kerbolt Prison. It's not a usable door. Oh, yeah, it is. It's just really slow to access. Okay, what? Oh, there we go. Just couldn't find the hitbox for it. All right, we will come back there. That might be that might be an amazing first POI. What do you think? I think so. All right, a little bit of lag. Please, nothing bad. We've got the junkyard. A couple small POIs. It looks like we're coming up on Trader Joel's. Let's go. Oh, that might be neat. What is this? We'll take a look at that one, too. All right, into the trader. Hopefully there's no false traders in this mod. Close that up. Now, I guess this can be damaged and attacked. So we got to watch out for that. Let's search everything. And there's nobody keeping you safe like in Darkness Falls. All right. We're going to go ahead and drop this in here. And let's go ahead and get some shots on her. Nope. Come on. All right, hit her again. Oh, come on, lady. Hold still. All right, one more. We got a couple more people coming. I hear it. Oh, what is this? Oh, my God. We got the mother load back here. Check this out. Oh, so much good stuff. All right. We will take a good look at it upstairs. So this is not going to be as safe as I had hoped. <laughs> all right. We got a couple shots on this guy. We'll be all right. Nope. Come on, man. There we go. Perfect. All right. Let's go upstairs. 
Is any of this usable? Nope. All right, we already put a bed down. There's a usable fireplace. That's awesome. Thank you, some water bottles. All right, man. I'm feeling pretty happy about this start, at least. Let's go inside. What we got? Trader Joel. What is up, buddy? All right, can I see your inventory? Uh, we got some cool stuff that I need to look through. I don't know what's worth keeping and what's not. A junk baton. Uh, I don't really use a baton very much. Let's go ahead and sell that guy. Let's see which of the clothes we need to wear. Primitive bow. That's a little bit of an upgrade, so we'll go with that. All right. Dress shoes. Oh, man. Looks like this is slightly better. Padded chest armor. Wear it. Padded leg armor. Wear it. Shotgun choke mod. Scrap gloves. Scrap chest armor. Okay. Any other knuckle wraps? We might use those. Tech Junkie. What does this one do? Robotic damage. Learn how to enhance your robots to be more lethal. Robot weapons get do 10% more damage. Awesome. And Automatic Weapons Handbook. You can craft drum magazine mods. All right. All right. And we did get a pipe pistol. So we have a pipe pistol now. Let's put that over here. All right. We can get rid of that because we've already put one down. And we got a wrench. We have a scrap wrench. Alright, cool. Everything else can pretty much sell to this guy. Let's go inventory. Wood log. Interesting. We got some cool rounds. I'm not going to use the knuckle wraps. We'll sell that. The backup bow. Oh, I'm just going to scrap that guy, I guess. Dress shoes. Sell it. Chest armor. Alright, bipod mod. That's awesome. Uh, we'll wait on that. Generic note. Rifle barrel. For right now, we're going to sell it because I can't really do much with it just yet. Same with, I'll sell a little bit of that. This early game, some of the stuff is definitely expendable. Uh, and let's definitely keep that for a minute. We're a little overweight, so we do need to figure something out for that. All right, let's see if he has anything good. Oh, man. The overwhelmingness of a new mod. We need quite a bit of money to really get anything good. We could maybe do some, some food or water if we need it. But I think we're good with the stuff that we got. All right, secret stash. Lots of cool stuff. Okay, I'm definitely happy with that stuff. We're not going to do missions from him just yet. What is this one? Increases damage to undead, undead targets. So what does it go on? Does it go on this thing? It does. Anything else? That is it. All right, that gives us a little bit more damage on this thing. All right, and then we need to go ahead and do some cooking, I guess. Let's see what kind of food we can cook, and let's take a quick look at the skill trees. All right, so we'll go the character. We got all this clothes on, right? Okay, the actual map skills. We've got five skill points available early on, so this looks kind of kind of more like the vanilla vanilla style one. We definitely need sex racks early on. Pack mule. I'm gonna wait on. We probably do need that, but for right now, we'll wait. And you do have to put points into each one of like the strength and things like that. I think we might not go strength for once. We always go strength. But I think we're going to go something different this time. All right, fortitude. Let's do the iron gut so we cut down on the food. All right. And what does this give me? 10% more headshot damage. Dismember with fist and machine guns. All right, agility. We could definitely maybe do... Should we do a... A sneak build? That'd be kind of cool. We just need player level 10 to really get into that. We could do an archery, gunslinger. All right, intellect. Intellect would be smart with some of the stuff inside of there. Maybe we do an intellect. I've not really ever done an intellect before. All right, advanced technology. Nothing I can do there. And perk bonus. Okay, cool. Let's see, is there anything that I can cook early on? Some charred meat. We'll cook one just to get that one going. All right, uh, how much time do we have? It is 1,500 on day one. We might end up hiding out in the horde base tonight. And can we make storage box? Because if we can, I will make some now. Storage. Small storage chest, 10 wood. Okay. Let's get just a little bit of wood real quick. Hopefully we can get some out of this. Oh, wait, it's giving us wood log. Okay, can I... 
Let's see. Recipe wood nine. Okay. And I just need a little bit more. So it looks like it comes in in wood logs, and then you have to turn it into wood. That's interesting. That's a different change. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely an interesting way to do it. There you go. Take him out. Definitely lots of zombies. The number of zombies has increased for sure. Okay, where you at, dude? Come here. Got him. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and make one storage real quick. Secure storage. Got it. We're going to drop a storage here just so we're not taking all this stuff with us. All right, like that. Let's go with a little bit of everything. We'll drop it. Okay, let's figure out who's banging in the outside. We'll go take care of that, and then we'll hit up one of these close POIs. Kind of figure out what we can get into early today. We don't want to go far, so we might just check out this one right here. Although it could be a crazy POI too. I don't even know. Oh, nice. Club's looking good. I know I don't want to go strength build again, but man, I love having a strength build. There's nothing more fun than a sledgehammer. Come on. Finish that guy. This guy a little bit. Perfect. All right. Should we try the prison, or is the prison going to be too intense? That's the question. Oh, there's a couple zombies right here. This is a POI. <laughs> this is an actual place. All right, cool. All right, weak zombie. Anybody else? Nope, we do have a couple things that we could break down. All right, we can break this guy. Oh, no, don't use your blunderbuss until you have to. Yeah, we might do spear. I don't know. I haven't done spear in so long. Maybe a spear build would be fun here. But I just don't know in this mod if you got to get straight to guns and if it doesn't make sense to do much melee. Nice. There we go. All right. Man, I really want to try that prison, but I'm afraid it's going to be an intense POI. Let me check out that place. It looked like it was an underground garage. It looked like a good idea until I realized how much it is underneath it, probably. It still might be a good early one. Let's see. Oh, it's a glass factory. So that probably has like a whole underground area. All right, that's not a good idea. There's two of them, though. Glass factory, and then there's another... Is that just another prison? There are two prisons. Let's just peek over here. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. At least there's two of the glass factories. That's pretty cool. Hopefully, it's a good POI. All right. I think we're going to try out the prison. It's 1,600. It's probably not the best idea to start it now. So we're going to start it now. How many minutes are we in? We're already 30 minutes in. Man, um, should we be smart and just gather for a little while? I didn't really check out quests yet. Looks like we don't have any quests, so this I don't know if this has a quest system or not. Or does it only work through doing the quest with the trader? That's a good question. I just want to know if that was openable. Doesn't look like it. What is that POI? That one looks pretty intense, too. We got either the oil or water works, or the oil spot over there. Okay. All right, we're going in because I, I absolutely need food and water. Best way to get that is to go in and do a POI. So let's at least check out the beginning of it. Just be ready to run. But could you imagine if we took this over day one? Or maybe day two by the time we finish it? All right, let's sneak a little bit. I don't want to get surprised too quickly. Oh, we can search these. Oh, there's money in this. There's money in the zombie bodies. Okay. Cool. We can definitely use this to get a little bit of, of what is it, the, the coal. Search that. 
it's definitely surprising to be able to search that. All right, anything crazy? No. Get her. All right, let's check out that. this. Is it doable? It definitely has an upstairs. Let's close it so we don't get snuck and let's see how this is. Nothing on this floor. Make sure it doesn't just spawn in late. Okay, that's kind of cool. We could definitely take advantage of this place. All right, backpack action. We got a helmet. Let's wear it. Bam. And we're going to go ahead and take that off. And then we're going to scrap that. All right, let's break into the shipping crates. And we'll see how much more we can get done of this. We might call it quits really quickly here just so we can kind of hang out through the nighttime. Hidden stash. Oh, we got some good rounds. Now we just need the guns to shoot these. But we could definitely hide out in a tower. Good. Another hidden stash. We've got the junk baton. We'll just sell that. Yeah, all we gotta do is knock out the bottom couple rungs of the of the thing here, and this would be a nice little place to hide out. Oh no. Okay. Okay. We woke a couple people up. Looks like. One shot. Okay. Not really sure. Gotta search these bodies still. Okay. Weak zombie stripper. I always thought that was the decaying mother. I don't know where they're banging from. Tell me this wouldn't be a good first base though. Oh. He looked like he was glowing. Okay, big dude. He's not running, is he? Okay, close that. She's done. Oh, watch her, watch her stand. Okay, no one in there. Let's check the halls. Okay, looks all right. We'll search those in a minute. Weak, bloated walker. Got him. Very nice. Good job, dude. That is a big guy. That is a big dude. Oh, jeez. Oh, scared me. Wasn't ready for that. Ooh, all right. <laughs> nice little scare. Oh, there's a lumberjack in there. Good. There's a staircase. Nothing. Hmm. Oh, there he is. I knew I heard you. Nothing out here. All right, first room's nothing. Second room. There's a second door. All right. Okay, watch out for that when they break through eventually. Is that an extra guy back there? Nope. Nothing. All right, we're going to come back to that. Big dude. Come on. We can save all the rounds. Don't get in any weapon jet. Close that. Bathroom looking empty. All right, I really want to get these guys out. Come here, big guy. Come on, big man. Yeah. Yeah. Hit him in the head. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. He's in a separate room. Dang it. Nothing. No, no stop doing that. Hit it with this. All right, I want to break this and hit this guy. Ready? 
Perfect. Get him. Close it. And what I'll do is I'll come back through and I'll leave the doors open as we search the rooms. For right now, we're going to keep closing everything as we go through. Break this one out. Oh, this is such a good first POI, too. Oh, it's an actual locked door. Wow. That's going to take a really long time. Hmm. Let's let her chill for a minute. Oh. Oh, gun racks. Got a nice little knife. Little gun rack. Search these guys. We're not going upstairs just yet. Is that back outside? It is. Oh, jeez. <laughs> kind of wasn't ready. It's okay. All right. That one's nice and empty. We'll come back. We got some serious searching to do. So I think it's just the one lady. Obviously, we got to go. Come on in. Thank you. Yeah, just the one lady now. All right, just right here. She's almost through. I was waiting for you to do all the work, lady. All right, get this one open. Nice. Get a couple free shots on her. Almost done. Nice. Make sure I don't get snuck up on. Come on, stick your head through again. Come on, finish this out. There we go. Super quick and easy. All right, we got to finish the second floor before nighttime hits. So let's go. All right, both those ones done. Let's go upstairs, which I think is here. Oh, man, here we go. Upstairs. Please don't be crazy. No dogs. All right, let's get a couple free shots. Oh, man, stealth is fun, but stressful. All right, and there's a third floor. Dang it. Oh, good. We woke somebody up. Must be in the next room over. I don't hear him banging just yet. That's a good thing. All right, go through here. He's definitely in that next room over. Dang it. We got to go through. All right, I hope I can reach the thing and we can just leave this wood in place. Oh, he's... No, we got to get through. All right, we'll break this one. And we'll go take this guy out. 20 hundred. We don't want to be out here when they start running, so let's get through this kind of quickly. The reach on this thing is incredible. All right, can we level up something on this? Javelin Master. That's what we want. We need player level 5. We're not there yet. All right, we got to go a little quicker here. Come on, buddies. Hey, wake up, bud. Nice. I'll take some free shots for sure. Okay, we'll come back. All right, we got friends outside, it sounds like. What's up, buddy? Good to go. All right, anybody else in here? How are we doing? Twenty hundred. Keep it on the time. I think I see something breaking through down there. I'm not sure. Oh, didn't get a chance to shoot him. All right, you and me. Let's do it. Keep my arrow back. All 
All right, we're just going in this one, looks like. So this is where all the businessmen are in jail at. These are all the, the, the tax evaders and the, the bankers, right? Awesome, good job. Level four. Now I need level five to upgrade our spear. And I we might go a little bit of spear action this playthrough. All right, cool. Let's make sure we got no stragglers. That's downstairs. Down there might be something. Oh, no, it's broken. Close that. That might be outside that we hear stuff. It definitely sounds like it's outside. All right, I'm hoping that the horde the or the zombies don't respawn when you leave a POI. Because if that's the case, we can just come in here tomorrow and we'll be good to go, right? I mean, we could really hide out in here. It doesn't seem that bad. All right, search some of these since it's open. Get some toilets. No. Any uh, toilet guns? No. We got beds we can break down. That'll be great. All right, we'll come back to that one. Nobody in there. I think it's out front again. Let's go both these. All right. I think the other side. Let's go back to the trader and hide out because it's about to be late night. All right. Uh, how do I get out of here? Where's the trader? It's that way. So it should be this side exit, hopefully. Oh, man. Kind of cutting it a little close. I don't like being out this late. 2034. And then what I'll do over here at the horde base is we'll knock out the staircase so if nothing else we can hide upstairs, they won't get up to us. That's the plan. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to end it there because all I'm going to do now is go back to the trader. I might sell a couple random things, but we don't really need need anything. Let's make sure this is loaded. Oh, is it a... It is a six-shooter. Nice, nice. We'll definitely use that. All right, uh, we'll get this one repaired too. I'll see you guys. Oh, I can't because we don't have the supplies. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for all the support. Uh, man. I don't even know what to say. I'm just excited about a new playthrough. See you guys in the next one. Thank you so much. Later, guys.